We have all heard and too many of us think that the grass is greener on the other side. Well, let me tell you a related story. It's about a very rich farmer from ancient Persia. Ali owned a very large farm and so many gardens. He was content because he was rich and rich because he was content. One day, a priest from the far east visited and told him about diamonds. Ali heard all about diamonds, how much they were worth, and went to his bed that night a poor man. He had not lost anything, but he was poor because he was discontent, and discontent because he feared he was poor. He became obsessed with diamonds. He sold his farm and went off in search of diamonds. He wandered around Europe and didn't find any diamonds until he ran out of money and now was truly poor. Feeling frustrated and hopeless, he threw himself into the sea. Meanwhile, back in the farm, one day, the new owner picked up an unusual rock. A few days later, the same old priest visited the farm and immediately realized that the unusual rock was indeed a diamond. They rushed outside to the place where the owner found the rock. Digging produced more diamonds. Acres of diamonds. Ali had been standing on his own acres of diamond, but he wasn't aware of it. In this book, The Acres of Diamond, Russell Conwell tells countless stories of people who went in search of what they already had. The point Conwell says is that we often dream of fortunes to be made in far away places. We instead must be open to the opportunities that are around us. You can find success where you are right now. Here are some tips to help you discover your acres of diamond in your own backyard. Develop an open mind. The problem with most people, Conwell says, is that their world is too close. You need to develop an open mind to spot the obvious. Be open to the possibilities around you. Don't let preconceived notion cloud your judgment. We often overlook the value of something when it's right in front of us. Conwell message is that we should not fall for the trap of thinking that all the great people and great riches are somewhere else. Henry Ford started designing and building his car on his own farm and built the famous Ford factory in the same area where he had grown up. There was nothing special about Dearborn. He made it special without ever leaving his own backyard. There is no need to look beyond yourself and your immediate circumstances to find the seeds of your fortune. Learn what people want and then give it to them. Discover a market and then provide a good or a service. Too many people do this the other way around. They develop a good or a service and then try to market it. You would have more success if you see a desire and then try to meet it. You can't succeed if you have no interest in people and their needs. In Conwell's words, you must make yourself necessary to the world. Don't just sell things. Find out what people really want. This requires greater than normal thought and observation. One way to start is by thinking about what you need. Chances are, if you need something, others will too. The woman who invented the snap button made her fortune only by discovering and inventing what she needed. So the grass is not always greener on the other side. You've got to open your mind and look carefully. Then you'll find out that your diamonds are not in far distant mountains. They are usually in your own backyard, if you take the time to look for them. Conwell says that inside each of us are the seeds of greatness. You can use Abraham Lincoln's principle for greatness. This was his rule. Whatsoever he had to do at all, he put his whole mind into it and held it there until that was all done. I used to be one of those people who looked for diamonds in far away places. I dreamed of doing something, but I never knew what, until one day I decided to look carefully at what I've already got. What do you guys think about the message of this book? I love to see your thoughts. Also please make sure to like this video, it helps a lot with YouTube algorithms. And subscribe for more book summaries in the future. See you next time.